Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our parish of St. Colum Kills. I just want to share with you about some of the newly refurbished artwork that we have here in our parish. We have two beautiful side altars dedicated to the Sacred Heart and this one that I'm standing in here now is of course dedicated to our Blessed Lady. Over the past few months these um, side altars, the ceilings have been beautifully restored and I think you'll agree there really has been such a transformation. As we're about to enter into the month of May, the month where we traditionally honour our Blessed Lady, I thought that we would concentrate our efforts on the ceiling of the Lady Chapel and explain to you some of the scenes. You'll have heard it said that a picture speaks a thousand words, so I will be as brief as I can. The images above here on the ceiling are almost like a photo album of the key points of Our Lady's life. The journey begins here where our Blessed Lady is betrothed to a man named Joseph. We then move on to the second image in the narrative where the angel Gabriel appears to Our Lady and invites her to be the Mother of God. Of course, Our Lady says yes and accepts that invitation to be the Mother of the Saviour. Thirdly, of course, the story then journeys to Mary going to greet her cousin Elizabeth, who was in need, who was pregnant with St. John the Baptist. The story then moves across to the other side of the chapel, where we are given the story of the Nativity and the arrival of the Magi, bringing the baby Jesus the gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh. Just below the image of the visitation, we see a turtle dove, the turtle dove used for the sacrifice in the temple that the parents of Jesus would present to Simeon. This takes us neatly on to the encounter of Our Lady and Simeon the priest in the temple. Simeon, of course, would recognise that Jesus was the long-awaited Messiah. We then move over to this side of the ceiling where the Holy Family take our blessed Lord to Egypt. We then move up to this image at the entrance of the chapel known as the Deposition where our Blessed Lord was taken down from the cross and placed in the arms of his loving mother. Moving towards the centre, we see that image of the Assumption, our Blessed Lady taken up to heaven, body and soul. Moving beautifully to the centre of her coronation as Queen of Heaven and Earth and of all the saints. Patrick Payton, an Irish priest, was a great promoter of the Holy Rosary and he said that the Rosary is a contemplative prayer that we say with our hearts, our lips and our fingers. We can never underestimate the power of prayer. If anything, it brings us closer to Jesus and builds on our relationship with him. You can tune in to St. Colum Kills every Monday evening during the month of May through our Facebook page or website where we will pray together the Holy Rosary here in the church. Let us take up our rosary and stay connected as we pray together and pray for each other. The Holy Rosary is like a photo album of our Lord's life, death and resurrection. 
I invite you in these days to pray the rosary with your families in a particular way throughout this holy month. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, has asked us to do this in a very special way throughout the month ahead. Asking Our Lady to present all her needs and petitions to her Son through her Immaculate Heart. Seeking her motherly care and protection during these difficult days of this virus. Let's pray together to our patron, Saint Columkill. Kindle, O Lord, in our hearts we pray, the flame of love, which never ceases, that it may burn in us and give us light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with that eternal light of yours, which puts flight to darkness of this world. In the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord. Amen.